Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to walk you through dashboard widgets. What are dashboard widgets? Well, no matter what kind of company you're running, what kind of business you own, you always want to know your numbers and dashboard widgets allow you to pull certain data points from the CRM into a single page. So let's say you're running a sales team or maybe just a marketing campaign paid ads on Facebook or maybe on Google. Maybe you just want to know what are your email opening stats, who has left a phone number when they signed up, who hasn't left a phone number, what is the value of your pipeline, who is still open, who is closed, what do you still need to do in order to move people from being just a lurker or just a reader or subscriber to moving them being a customer. So let me walk you through all of that. All right, to access your dashboard, click simply on dashboards on the left. Then click the drop down menu here and you can see all the available different dashboards. Okay. Now to add a widget to your dashboard, and these are all widgets. For example, this is a total unread messages widget. This is a conversion rate widget. And this is a total unread conversations by channel widget and so on and so forth. So to add one of these widgets in different categories, simply click on edit dashboard and click on add widgets. Now, before I walk you through different categories, which you can see down here, I just want to point out that there are different chart types you can select from. So here we have a numeric chart type, a donut, a line, a bar, a horizontal bar, or even a table. And you can see how that would look like on the left right here. Numeric is this one, for example, the seven and the two right here, which is the first one. Then the donut is right here, the opportunity status, for example. The horizontal bar is this one right here, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, these widgets are very intuitive and highly customizable, so it would perfectly fit into your workflow. So to make finding the right widgets even more convenient, there are different categories you can choose from, which you can see down here, contacts, appointments, opportunities, visitor data, emails, calls, conversations, payments, and general. So each of these categories organize predefined widgets into specific groups, helping you very quickly to discover the tools you actually need. With this structured approach, you can save loads of time and instantly unlock valuable insights from your data points. So contacts right here, the contact widgets will help you manage and analyze new leads effectively. Then the appointments widgets assist in tracking and optimizing meetings with your team and customers. Next up, we have the opportunity. The opportunity widgets provide insights into deal status and monetary value as well. So you always know how much money is still in the pipeline. Then you have the visitor data, which will give you an overview of your funnel visitors and activity for relevant information. Emails, of course, the email widgets allow you to get valuable insights on campaign activities. Then the calls, insights about your call activities. You can always track who picked up which call, how long was the call and so on and so forth. Then the conversions, the conversion widgets lets you track the conversion data and the general widgets offer predefined data and performance reports for various platforms. Then there are also different metrics. So let's say we go into the calls category. We select incoming calls by status and you see here under metrics, you can see the sum of duration, the minimum duration, the maximum duration or the average of duration or the count calls. Then let's go back real quick. I want to talk about the elements. So if you click on elements, you will see elements will give you the flexibility to customize your dashboard, which is the way you want them. You can add titles or headings to your dashboard to organize sections and groups, widgets by theme. So here you can embed external widgets, Google Sheets, YouTube videos. Here you can add titles to your dashboard. You can add images to your dashboard or text boxes. Then next up, we have themes using different themes for your dashboard widgets will give you the ability to customize the appearance of your entire dashboard for individual widgets. So you can select from a variety of predefined themes or craft your own custom theme with specific colors. Let's select the pink one and you'll see the colors change to pink. Let's select purple, green, you see a change, right? Or if you wanted to put your custom colors, your brand colors, you can do so too. 
you will just click on the chart color, you will add your hex code and hit reset. Now there are many different use cases under each category. Let me walk you through contacts real quick. Here you can select contacts count. How many contacts do you have stored in your database? Contacts by source, where do they come from? Did they come from Facebook ads or from your blog or from forms, from surveys and so on and so forth. Contacts by medium, top sources for contacts created, contacts counts by tags. So if you want to filter by tags, contact counts by activity, by type, by assigned user, by company name, contacts counts over time, specific timeframes, logged in users, contact by email without email, right? Contacts with or without phone number, and then total contacts count till date or this month. Next up, we have the appointments with many different use cases as well. How many appointments did you have? How many over a specific date range? Confirmed appointments, short, no short, cancelled. Appointment count by status, appointment counts by group, for example. Comparison by source, no show appointment count over time cancelled over time upcoming for the next week upcoming for the next week for a specific logged in user only the last month booked appointments the last month created appointments next up we have the opportunities the opened opportunities the ones that you didn't close yet the ones that you did close the lost opportunities lost by reason so you can really know the reasons why people didn't buy abandoned opportunities you can start a reactivation campaign send a special offer opportunity count the number of total opportunities you have Opportunities main means basically contacts in your pipeline, right? Opportunities counts over time, revenue over time, opportunity counts by status, opened opportunity value, how much money in total do you still have left? This one here, for example, lost opportunity value, abandoned opportunity value, if they typed their data, their email and their name, but they didn't add the credit card details, that's abandoned opportunity value, one opportunity value, total opportunity value, one this month, one value this month, and then one opportunities value this month. Next up, visitor data. You can pull the visitor data from funnels, total funnel views, unique funnel views, total website views, unique website views, funnel views trend, website views trend, and so on and so forth. So you can go through this list really and select what is important for your marketing campaign, what kind of data do you need? What kind of reports do you need to print in order to make educated decisions where to increase website traffic, for example, or where to fix funnel copy, for example. Next up is emails, accepted, delivered, opened, clicked, replied, soft bounce, very important to always keep your email list clean, hard bounce as well, failed, unsubscribed, emails daily or in total, and then emails by domain as well, in case you have several domains attached to your CRM. For the calls, you can pull the data for incoming calls by status, outgoing calls by status, incoming duration, outgoing duration, and so on and so forth. Again, go through this list, pick the one that resonates most with the data you need right now and build your custom call dashboard. Next up, we have the conversations, the total unread, the total messages, the total conversations, the total conversations from only today, for example. So you can always stay up to date which message do you need to follow up, who needs to do what, right? Send another WhatsApp campaign, send another marketing campaign, reply to each of these individual messages to make sure your customers or prospects are being looked after. Assign conversations to logged in user, unassigned conversations, and so on and so forth. Next up is the payment section, total revenue. How much money did you make last night? Total revenue per trend, one-time revenue trend, recurring money, how many subscriptions have you sold? Paying customers, payment success, payments failed, very important to have that number. So if your payment manager, for example, logs into the dashboard and sees, hey, this many payments have failed, his or her job is then just simply to follow up with the customer to make sure they update their credit card details, for example. Very important data to know about so that you can keep that revenue coming in. Then revenue by channels, subscription creation, trend, cancellation, coupon redemption. How many people actually redeem their coupons? Invoices sent, pay refunded right refunded amount trend and next up we have the general opportunity status value conversion rate funnels distribution state distribution tasks which kind of tasks are assigned to who manual actions 
Google Analytics, Lead Source Report, Google Business Profile, Facebook Ads Report, Google Ads Report and the Sales Efficiency. So as you can see, lots of different categories on options to go through. I would encourage you to spend a few minutes inside the dashboards, pick the widgets that make the most sense to you and build your own customizable dashboard. All right, I hope this video gave you great insights on what are customizable dashboard widgets and I hope you will get started looking through the different categories and select the ones that makes the most sense to you. I will see you in the next video.